Welcome back. Oh, first of all, Happy New Year, everyone. Okay, it's 2023. This is the year. You know, someone said to me yesterday, this is the year for the 90s babies. So if you're a 90s baby, like myself, well, this is our year. So I pray for love, peace, success, growth, and a lot of healing for all of us. Okay, so welcome to Sip and Chat 2023. We're almost at the end of season two, and I'm super excited. Um, because today I've got a guest here that I really am interested to. I mean, I know this guest, you know, <laughs> but I'm very interested for her to share her life and her journey. And what I'm more excited about is how she's become such a business minded person and she's taking it seriously and she's doing well. And you already know that if you're on Sip and Chat, it means you're doing something good and something well. And it doesn't matter if you started yesterday or today, Sip and Chat is a platform for everyone that is making an impact, whether big or small. Welcome to Sipanja. <laughs> Thank you so much, Santa. <laughs> Thanks for having you're me. You're welcome. You're Thank welcome. You. <laughs> this is Fatu B, Cisse. Yes, we share the same last name. Yes, she is my baby sister. I'm very, very proud of you. Welcome to Sip and Chat. I know mm -hmm. that you've been a, a very huge follower and a supporter, yes. even though you don't fully live in Gambia, but you've, you know, you've been your ears have been on the ground. Yes. So thank you for that and welcome to Sip and Chat. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. You're I am. I don't know. I think I'm nervous. I'm, I'm not usually <laughs> nervous. <laughs> I was about to say. Yeah, but I am very nervous because this is different. Mm. This is me literally telling you my entire life. Yes. Um, it's very easy to be misunderstood. Absolutely. So I, I want to come on here and then talk to you guys so mm -hmm. that you guys get to know me. Fanta already knows who I yep, am. I do. But a lot of you don't. And mm -hmm. this is an opportunity for me to really to do tell that. people, yeah. And you know, I'm, I'm happy that you chose the platform, obviously. It always makes me feel good and also like, um, feel like I'm, I'm doing my job when people just are like, whether you have something to say or whether their name is surrounded with a lot of controversy or whatever it is that they would feel comfortable to come on the platform and have a conversation. Mm -hmm. I think that's one thing that I really, really am happy that people associate my show with, associate mm -hmm. me with. So. But even before we get there, I think congratulations on the launching of Rhea B. Thank you. <laughs> so if you do not know Rhea B, then you've not been on Snapchat. Yeah. If you know Gambia, Snapchat is a very, very big social media platform Audience. in Gambia. Yeah. I know it is big in a lot of other countries, but in Gambia, it's super, super big. And you are a very popular name on there for different reasons <laughs> that we will get into. Okay. But um, right before we get into that, a massive thank you to our sponsors for being a part of Sip and Chat. I mean, you've been with me from the beginning and you're here. We want to say a big thank you to AfriSol Gambia Limited. Thank you. As you can see, we have the banners all over. Thank you so much, AfriSol. Thank you for being a part of Sip and Chat. Thank you for sponsoring and supporting a young woman's dream. A big thank you to iNet. iNet, it is truly and hands down the best internet service provider in the country. I use it at home. I am absolutely pleased with it. I have recommended and referred people because I believe in quality service. And if I speak on something, know that I've tried and tested it. So thank you to iNet for being a part of Sip and Chat. We are now family. You know, people call me and say, do you work for iNet? And I say, yes, <laughs> because I do. So thank you very much to iNet for being a part of Sip and Chat. Thank you to Global Properties. They were a part of Sip and Chat from season one. And they've always been a huge motivator and support system for Sip and Chat. So thank you very, very, very much. This beautiful dress was done by Lilio. Thank you, Lilio, for always coming to my rescue. I know I don't make it easy, but I'm grateful. Um, thank you to Kalimba for lending us this space every time. Season one, you were with us. Season two, you were with us. So thank you very, very much. And a big thank you to Rhea B, who are the main sponsors of this episode. Yes. <laughs> thank you so much. Rhea B is a laundry service. We will definitely talk a lot about it because I feel like we've had laundry services in the country, but we've not had laundry services marketed the way you have done that. Yes. And I think you're such a genius at doing that. Thank you. You've made it cool. Thank you. <laughs> you no, you really have. You've made it cool. You've made it into something that people are excited to take like before my mom would literally force me i'm taking this to dry cleaners you want to you know mm -hmm. now it is more so oh my clothes are dirty let me call Rhea B. yes you know and yeah. i and i love what you've done with it we'll thank get you. into that but this episode mm -hmm. was strictly sponsored by Rhea B. so thank you very much of course, for supporting me of course, as well Fata. because this is definitely a support for yeah. safe and chat you know it's, it's still a new baby mm -hmm. i mean even though people love the show but it's still new yeah. and there's still a little bit of struggles that i go through yeah. so thank you for of that of course you're absolutely welcome. welcome you know i love you so i love not. you too <laughs> so you want to tell the people who you are let's start there 
Yeah, um, I feel like that question is very difficult to answer mm. because you can't really tell people mm. who you are. Mm -hmm. They have to experience you sometimes to really know who yeah. you are. But um, I think my main identity is I'm a mother. Mm. Yeah, I have a very wonderful, beautiful seven-year-old daughter, mm -hmm. Maya. Um, so that's, I feel like that's, that's my number you. one yeah. um, identity. But yeah, um, obviously my name is Fatu Bisise. Mm -hmm. I was raised in Gambia up until high school mm -hmm. prior to moving to the United States. Mm -hmm. um, but my entire life was here. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I moved, you know, you get that culture shock yeah. and everything just yeah. changed your mindset, your mentality, yeah. yada, 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 changes. But deep down, I'm still that Mandinka girl. I that, know. You know, you see, <laughs> I'm very proud yes. Mandinka girl, you know. Yes. Um, I have four brothers, I'm um, sorry, three brothers is four of us, and but one unfortunately passed yes. away yes, last I'm year. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's okay. Thank you. Um, and I have a little sister too. She's half sister, so mm -hmm. I have that as well. Um, but Fatu is just. Um, Somebody who's trying to figure out, figure out life. Mm. Um, I'm, I'm very unapologetic with my wrongs yeah. and everything that I do. I'm just trying to learn and I'm not looking at a script or anything like that. I'm mm. just going with the flow. Um, I work as um, people, I work with people with disability in mm. the United States. Um, so you can see like people matter to me. Yeah. You know, the type of jobs I choose matters to me as yeah. well. You know, it has to be rewarding to mm. me and not just uh, money. Um, because for me, I honestly, I don't want to work in the next five years. Mm. I want to dedicate my life to my daughter. Mm. Um, and I think like when I say that sometimes, I feel like motherhood is like everything to me. Yeah. <laughs> like that's my whole identity, yeah. if, if that makes sense. Um, so everything that I'm doing now is to get me back to where I'm just staying at home and just being with my kids because I didn't have that, that my parents who are yeah yeah but yeah i'm just somebody who's trying to figure out figure out life out and see what i like what i don't like and i'm it doesn't matter in what way so yeah that's that's just a glimpse of that's who i am that's a glimpse of who you are yeah you know we'll get into it there's, there's a lot to talk about here <laughs> if you follow her on social media whether it is snapchat or instagram then you understand but mostly on what's it called snapchat you know that there's a lot to discuss However, first I would like to, what I normally do is when I, when I get on the show, I want to talk about your brand, your business. And then we can get into the personal, because yeah. you know, we bring it down. <laughs> I know um, you're ready for me. <laughs> what's a Rhea be? You know, I did say it's a laundry and dry cleaning service, but I want you to tell the people what the brand is. And while that's going on, they will be able to see what you do and it will be played on the screen. Okay. And they'll see what the work is like, but I want you to walk, through, walk people through that. Yeah. So the way Riabi came about was very is very funny. Um, I have a cleaning uh, home service business in America. Mm -hmm. So I was talking on the phone with um, Mariah. Mm -hmm. Most of you know her. Mm -hmm. um, and then I told her that I want to bring that home service in the Gambia. Mm -hmm. You know, I want to expand my brand. I just don't want to be. If you if you look at me now, you can tell that I'm ready to be home. Home, yeah. You know? yeah. yeah. So I was explaining how I want to expand that, and then we got into the conversation of laundry, and I was like, I don't even think there's any laundry mats in Gambia hmm. at, at that time. At that time. So yeah. we did a lot of Google search. There was none. Hmm. Um, I reached out to my marketer when, when we started working with our market. I was like, okay, if there's none, then this is good. Hmm. So when I reached out to my marketer, they did market research, yada, yada, and they brought me a bunch. I was like, okay, if I don't know about it, there's a lot of people that don't, don't know, know about, about it. it. Yeah. So I'm not afraid. I'm okay. I'll yeah. go into it. But yeah. there's actually a lot. I was about to say, but I was just waiting for you to laugh. There, yeah, there, they, yeah, there is a yeah. lot, actually, yeah. but they're not out there. Yeah. Um, and with me, if you, you, follow, you, you know me personally yeah. and on yeah, social media, absolutely, too. Absolutely. Um, Customer service is very important to me mm. in, in how people feel about a service. Mm -hmm. um, it's just, it could just be laundry to some people, mm -hmm. but it's more than that to me because I see my customers and when they mm -hmm. come, um, when they come to the laundry mat, when they see their clothes done, mm -hmm. Ria B is doing um, African attires. We are stacking them up. Mm. We're doing. Um, I still have to dry... do my stuff. I know. <laughs> you have to. It's, it's a lot, actually. Please. It we, is a we, lot. we love a lot. We okay. don't love a little. Okay. You know. <laughs> We're doing dry cleaning. Um, we wash people's sneakers. Gambia is so dusty. Mm -hmm. We will. We wash sneakers. Mm -hmm. We. We'll fix the sneaker. We'll fix and the clothes. I think clothes. I'm so excited for that. Yeah, we, we sold I, it. All my sneakers are white. Please, mm. bring them. You will love it. Okay. Um, we do car seat covers. We clean carpets. Anything that, that requires cleaning, cleaning, we do it. You know, and, and eventually I want to expand 
where home service cleaning mm. because already that's it's my there. field. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. so good at it. And you're absolutely yeah. good at it. Yeah. And, and, and car washes, like anything service, washing, cleaning, I want to take over. I'm not afraid who is out there. Okay. Yeah, I want to take over and, and I can already see it. Um, and we're currently working on opening our second location. That's fantastic. Yeah, around because we have a lot of customers coming from Fajara, and yeah. it's a long drive. Yeah, so it we're is. currently working on that, so okay. they can have something close there. by. But yeah, I want to take over Gambia's laundry and basically like all their services, everything. Okay. Yeah. yeah, that's the goal. So yeah, that's Ria B for now. Ria B. Yeah. How did you come up with the name? Because I know you said you were speaking to Mariah about it, but like, yeah. how did it come to? Really, How did because we, I feel like it's your name, but it's also Mariah's name. Yeah. But walk us through that. So I already have Fata B brand going on yes, for me. Yes, you do. You know, the B brand, the B that's brand, me, yeah. right? Um, and I, I, I felt like it was already right to add Mariah there yeah. because I wasn't thinking about laundry when I, when I was initially talking yeah. about what I want to do. Yeah. And that girl means everything to me. Okay. She's very dear to my mm -hmm. heart. She's, she's my absolute best friend. Yeah. So I don't see any reason why I can't, I shouldn't have her name. Any rhymes, it, oh, sorry, it, it flows really mm. nice. It's, it's, it's nice. Mm. So I gave her that honor. I okay. mean, why not? I mean, we'll talk more about how, that, based, okay. why that decision was made. Okay. Yeah. So is it, is it both of you that owns it or is it you and you just gave her the honor of having her name on it? it it's, I, I'll say it's both. Okay. Yeah, it, it is both. Um, currently, I am the one that's running it here solely Absolutely. because I'm here. But yeah, it is both. It's just more she's the, how do you say, the more quiet, silent, because silent, she's not out there. She's yeah. not a social media person. So it works. It works for me. It, it works I for enjoy you. it. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> that's good. Uh, you've mentioned that motherhood is everything to you. And you've mentioned that just providing people with good quality services. What other things do you say would, would you say moves you, like makes you happy? It's like carries you when you do. Because for example, for me, when I'm doing my job, when I'm hosting, I'm happy. Yeah. When I'm busy, when I'm recording in the studio, when I'm developing scripts, when even when it is tough, I enjoy it because I'm growing in that. Yeah. So these are things that really make me happy when it comes to my job. Mm -hmm. What about you? What are other things that make you happy? I think when I provide people with solutions, mm. that reaction, it makes me feel whole. It makes me feel like I've made an impact mm. because I, I just, I don't think we should be aimlessly walking around mm. the world and, you know, we have to learn from each other. And, and, and honestly, yeah, it's the solution for me when I provide you solution. solution. And when people look at me and cry to me, mm. you know, I'm just like, I have so much things going on in my life and for you to put a pause and hold it, or like for you to trust me to mm. you know confide in me and I provide you that comfort that support that love yeah it makes me very happy mm -hmm. I forget about my own problem so right. that's, that's interesting yeah. that's yeah. interesting yeah. I like that thank you now you you've just said that Ria B was opened when when, when did on you the open? 12 December of December yes and in a span of a month you're all already ready to open a second brand oh yeah how how <laughs> like i said the launders here are not known they're very you know you don't so a lot of people that come to me they know they 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 i'm all they know some they know the other laundry places but the difference with with that and me is that um the service that i provided mm. like every single clothes means something to me help me understand that when you say the service so, what are some of the services that you provide that you feel like these other laundromats or laundry um, stores don't have every customer is individualized in in, in at Ria B. Um, we take care of you accordingly we do it on mass we don't work uh, I don't know how to say this word but we don't mass not, not mass produce because that's wrong but we don't we don't mass ramasse me. people you know what I mean <laughs> yeah. so if you come to me and you tell me you have sensitive skin yeah. this and you don't want this or you don't want that this is kind of detergent you want we provide you that okay do you understand what I'm saying? Yes. So we literally cater to each individual to their to liking. Okay. Yes. We don't mask whatever and use. It's not like a one, one, one size fits all No, type of no, no, okay. no. And every piece of clothing matters. I could be walking past and I see some string mm -hmm. and I was like, that shouldn't be there. I, I, don't, I shouldn't care. Mm -hmm. and it's just wash and stuff. But it means a lot when they get their clothes back. We sew them back. Like when it's when the button is loose, I I, I fix see, it. I actually see you post that. Yeah, I fix it when, when you have a tear. Is torn, you actually right. sew the it shoes up. now we sew them. I saw Everything. That. So 
you cannot get that anywhere. Mm. We take care of you the whole 360. Just come. We, can, we don't only wash humans, <laughs> <laughs> but we wash everything. Okay. We do everything, Fanta. Okay. Yeah. I like that. Thank Hold you. That <laughs> we'll go with our first break, four more back, more with Fatty. Thank you. spending time online with your friends on social media? If so, then Africell has the best offer for you. Activate the social media bundle for $10 is only and enjoy 40 megabytes valid for 24 hours. WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Viber all for $10 is only. Dial 120 hash and press 3 to activate the social media bundle. No need to subscribe every day. It will automatically roll over for your enjoyment. Africell social media bundle. Let us socialize. Back after that break, a uh, massive thank you to Ria B, as you saw. Today is a Ria B day, it's a Ria B episode, okay? <laughs> as you saw, Ria B is one of the first most well-known dry cleaning services of our generation, okay? I don't want older generation looking at me like, but one thing I'm impressed with is their marketing skills and how they have been able to just, maybe it's not, it's not reached the entire country yet, but the reach it has within a month is amazing. And I just want you to tell us that because there's so much that I know Ria B is doing that you've just talked about. But what other things do you hope for Ria B? Do you hope for it to be, how many more branches are you looking at? You know, and then you say it would break into, branch off into car wash and all these things. So that, that means Ria B will be a franchise. Oh yeah. Oh, 100%. Okay. Ria B is gonna be even under another bigger name. This okay. is just, okay. it's just my baby for okay. now, right? Okay. Um, when you say location, every hottest place, yeah. Okay. So I think for just this year, I'm thinking two more, but in the next five year stretch, mm -hmm. um, let's say about, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Just every hottest place that you okay. can think of. I want people to drive by in every corner. There's mm -hmm. a Ria B laundry service there. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to knock everybody out of the business. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so. Okay. okay. Yeah. I see that. Aggressive yeah. marketing. Thank you. Aggressive yeah. marketing. Thank you. I'm very impressed with that. You Thank know, you. we'll think so. Every detail of Ria B would be in this in this box right here. I will put, you know, her pages to follow, the Ria B pages to follow, the contact details, because really and truly, I, almost everyone I know has been there, but me, because you know my life is up and down. There's been a lot going on. That's why even Super Chat is a bit delayed. Yeah. Uh, December is a very busy period and it's a lot of work back to back. But because of all the events, I have so many outfits that need dry cleaning. We got you. So it's coming. We got you. You know, I want to move on to you. Okay. You know, I don't even know where to start <laughs> because there's a lot of, our generation controversy talk around you. Mm -hmm. And to the point that sometimes it comes off as, do you like it? Do you like being talked about? Is that why you do certain things? Is that why you put certain things out okay. there on social media? 
For example, first, right before we even get into the social media, actually, let's get into the social media talk. You, there's been multiple things. You wore a hijab, first and foremost. And when you wore a hijab, most like everything you do when you set your mind to it, you go full throttle. There is no, you don't leave any, yes. any yeah. you know, yeah. you're in it. Yes. So when you became a hijab, you were in it. Mm -hmm. You were in it, mashallah. You were doing the 40 days prayers, the night prayers, the... Because obviously I know you, so we talk about these things and I see it on your social media. And now for you to switch <laughs> from that yeah. to this, mm -hmm. I feel like in all the time, this is the longest period people have talked about your brand and not you. Mm -hmm. I feel like every time there's fat to be, it's associated with something. Mm -hmm. Walk me through that hijab journey. Okay. So um, a lot of people didn't really un didn't understand because I didn't explain myself. Okay. And sometimes I don't ex explain myself. Mm -hmm. I will, I do what I want to do mm -hmm. sometimes. Mm -hmm. Not not always the best mm -hmm. best decisions, mm -hmm. you know. But I don't consult with people to do anything. So a lot of people don't know how that that came Girls. about. Mm -hmm. um, but that whole hijab thing, I, I was dating somebody at that time, mm -hmm. and. That was like the first person that was like very, or what he showed me was mm. extreme religious and all that mm. stuff, right? And at that time, I really, really liked this guy. And, and we talked about the whole, you know, when you date, what comes next, right? Marriage. Marriage, obviously. The big M. The big M. <laughs> big yeah. M. <laughs> and um, what, what he showed me at that time, I was okay with, with, that. with marrying him okay. and all that stuff. But this is somebody that I talked to. We used to talk to 24 hours at that time, and he, he expressed to me that eventually he would like to have his wife covered up. Covered up. Mm. Not he didn't impose it on me to go ahead and do it, yada yada. It was just a conversation, and I was like, okay, if I if I go on, if I go on and marry this guy or any guy or anybody at that for that matter. But at that um, point it was him. Yeah, at that point it was him. Okay. If I go on and marry him, what is there again? Who am I impressing out? Yeah. This is my husband, and this is gonna make him happy. Let's do it. I'm okay with it. You know me. I love yeah. people. Yep. I'll give you what and you, you love want. you love love. <laughs> we'll get to that. <laughs> we'll be, we'll, you love love. <laughs> so, yeah. so we were having a conversation. I was like, you know, if we get married and I'm not hijab, I, I don't think I can post my throwbacks mm. of my marriage. Right? Yeah. Let me practice now. Now, okay. That way, when I get into the marriage, I'm already going in, in with my car. Okay. Because I know he would have never let me post my wedding without my color if I go yeah, on yeah. to have my car yeah. and if a guy marries you in the garment culture you have to kind of obey them or go with not kind of in religion <laughs> you have to obey your husband let's, right. let's take gambian gambians just take everything to the extreme but religiously you're meant to obey your husband right i mean i wouldn't want my partner to do anything that i don't like so yeah i wouldn't have never posted my wedding pictures again or put it out in the house so i was like let's do this yeah and then throughout that journey i i i i fell in love with mm. with my religion i still i still I'm very religious. People just don't know, right? Um, he taught me how to read some Ayatul Kusri. Really? We will be on the phone. We don't talk about stuff, nonsense. Uh -huh. nonsense. <laughs> like it's all about religion and stuff. So I, I, I fell in love with it. And being me, when I say something, Fanta, people take it. Mm -hmm. People, pe when I post stuff, people screenshot it. Mm -hmm. Like they like my recommendation and stuff like that. And I was doing my, my prayers on my own. I told my friend, how about we all collectively motivate each other and do the night prayers for more and more. Because I don't have to do that. You understand? That's true. So it wasn't like Fatabi is so pious or better. No, I just know that I can bring people together. Yeah. That, that I can do. Okay. When I started that, if I tell you how many people have helped within that two months or however long it, 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 it was. It was mm. You know, and, and people are still grateful for that. Mm. But it, I wasn't like, telling a hijab. No, I don't, but I also I understand where they're coming from because I never explain myself. I, I don't have to. But you absolutely don't have to. I mean, the only reason we're talking about it, obviously, because you're on Sip and Chat. Yeah, we talk about things. Yeah, of course. But like you said, a lot of the times, a lot of the gossip would have been, oh, she did this because of her man. And now that relationship ended and she's off the hijab now. No. So, <laughs> so that's, so I think like... Because um, unfortunately in Gambia, when women do the hijab, unfortunately, it is associated a lot with, oh, they want to get partner, married, that's yeah, why. Or yeah. because of her man, yeah, yeah, you know? Yeah. So. It, it, wasn't, it, it wasn't his decision. He just casually said it. And you know how I am. You, you are like a Thank you. So, you know what? 
but I'm not trying to get the wrong way. I'm not going to get the wrong way. I'm not going to get the wrong way. I'm not going to get the wrong way. If that makes sense, yeah. right? But obviously things happened and it wasn't what it was supposed to be. So did you, when that relationship ended, then you took off the hijab? No, nah, it, it, it comes off like that. What, what was that like? I, because I'm going to tell you the truth. Okay. On how people see it. Oh, she did a hijab because of a guy. He didn't end up marrying her. She took it, it off. And now she's ventured into something completely different. No. We, we'll get to. Yeah. But yeah. Okay, so the reason I took it off, it, it, some of the, so like 40% of it has to be, has something to do with him. Absolutely. Um, the if reason, you had said otherwise, I would have called you out. Right, I know, yeah. I know. The reason is that, like, when somebody showed you something mm. and you take them so seriously mm -hmm. that they are this pious person. Mm. I, I've always been with, I know. you know, Sebo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's very, you know, out there. So, um, so it was different for me. And then that was the first time somebody was telling me what to do. I'm not, I'm, I'm very dominant. You don't tell me what to do, right? So I liked it. Even my dad don't tell me what to do. Mm -hmm. he, he lets me make my decisions, right? So that was different and I felt protected. Like I said, I found out a lot of things mm -hmm. that, that wasn't very pretty and what was basically portrayed to me. Mm. And every time I stand in the mirror and I put the hijab on, it reminds, it reminds me of him. Mm. I'm, I, I, just, I, I don't think I want that identity. Mm. The identity of my hijab is based on him. So my friend and I made the decision that I'm going to take it off. Mm. And when I want to do it, which, oh my God, I want to do it. I okay. miss it. Okay. But I want to do it on my own, in oh, my own oh, terms. Okay. Not like every time I put it on, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So let me put a pause to that. To that. Because God made me do that. You know, I feel like in that, in that mess story alone, there's a big message there. And I, I feel like, I know you've learned from that, a lot. but I feel like in that message alone is, don't let people's wants and desires of you or expectations of you do not right. fall into that. Yeah. Because in as much as you love the hijab, a lot of the reason why you loved it was associated with him. So he became the main purpose of that. that and when that relationship ended, and you had to now be reminded like, oh my God, I did this because I really genuinely thought we were going to end up together and here we're not. And now every time I wear the hijab, it's not, they, even though God may play a part, but the main part of it was mm -hmm. you wanted to be married to this person. Yeah, I, I mean, so, now knowing what I know, no, that's absolutely, hundred percent, like, I'd rather die. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's but, mean, no, but, but I get knowing it. who I am, yeah. it's, not, it's not a good, um, not that he's terrible, no, he yeah. was, honestly, he was peace to me mm. at that time. Um, but it's just peace that came with After Effect Lives. Mm? Peace that came with After Effect Lives. You can say that, you know. So I think that's the, for me, that, I caught that message in there. It's like never allow someone else's expectations or wants for you. To trump to your own. Exactly, yeah. desires. Because yeah. that is the repercussion of what, that, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That, that's the, yeah. yeah. The, you can say that. Yeah. yeah. I, okay. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. <laughs> um, <laughs> but in the future, yeah. I would love to try it. No matter where I'm at, where I love you God, are, and you are. He has never disappointed me. Mm. In as much as I do, 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 mm. that man, mm -hmm. he's never ripped that carpet at off all, my feet. At all. So I know what I mean to him. Yeah. Or, or you know, mm -hmm. however people wanna wanna you know refer to to God, mm -hmm. but. In the relationship, and then see the important. first thing I tell people, ju salidora. Yeah. But you, if you see me, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think that that those are. And I love that <laughs> you are now telling people salidora, knowing from how. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But we'll go with that. We'll go with our second break. One more back. More with Fatima. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
them online with your friends on social media? If so, then Africell has the best offer for you. Activate the social media bundle for ten dollars only and enjoy forty megabytes valid for twenty four hours. WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Viber all for ten dollars is only. Dial one two zero hash and press three to activate the social media bundle. No need to subscribe every day; it will automatically roll over for your enjoyment. Africell social media bundle. Let us socialize. Welcome back after the break. More with Fatubi, founder of Ria B one of the newest and most effective laundry services in the country, doing very, very well. Very proud of you for that. You. Um, secondly, we would just into your personal aspects because obviously Sip and Chat is not just a show where <laughs> you can't talk about you know, business. We want to get to know you, who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. And especially for you, even prior to your business, there's been a lot that was, that's misunderstood about you. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is the moment. Mm -hmm. You know, we were just talking about your an ex relationship that you know when you took off the hijab, you put on the hijab, and I think, what was your takeaway from that relationship before we wrap up that part of the conversation? Um, my takeaway from that relationship, I'll say that don't put people on a pedestal. Mm. Yeah, I, 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 after the whole relationship, I realized that I was the prize, but I, I didn't see my worth at all. I thought that this person was more worthy at that time because I, I like to, if when you, when there's two people, me and whoever, I'm always the one, intelakallah, in as much as I know more than you, you I, I lay low for people, right? So I don't put people on the pedestal. Like I, it, it, now I feel like it's going to be very hard for me to be in a relationship with anyone mm. because, um, it's about me now. I, I've gotten to that stage where yeah. everything is about me now okay. and you decide whether it's okay with you or not. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I like that. Yeah. This is your, so to speak, your selfish girl era. Yes, extremely selfish. I've had those. Extremely I selfish. I really had those. That. Yeah. And, I, and I understand that. Yeah. So, I like that. I Thank like you. that. Thank you. But also, don't be too selfish that when the right <laughs> person comes into your life, that I dismiss them, yeah. I know. Now, you have a daughter. I do. And I know you were married. You got married very young. Like what, 20, yeah. 21? Yeah, um, around 20. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> you had of... Maya very early. Yes. You know. Yeah. And you were married. Mm -hmm. And you really took that marriage. And I remember you even had a YouTube page, mm -hmm. a YouTube channel. You had a lot mm -hmm. at that time. Mm -hmm. What happened there? In that marriage. Mm. Um, so I'm going to double back a little bit um, prior to that marriage. My relationships have been out there. Mm. All of them, mostly. Right? And, and it comes off like I've been in a lot of... Mm. But I have not. Because they were publicized. Exactly. Like high school, I've never dated in school. Mm. My last, like the relationship I had in school was 12th grade and I was just about to go to, to the United States, right? That was just that. When I got to the United States, um, I lived in New York for a little bit, then moved to Michigan. My mom still stayed in New York and I moved to Michigan. You know, met Maya's dad. Um, I was his first girlfriend. Really? Yeah, he was a virgin, everything. Mm -hmm. So. Imagine me not having a lot of knowledge in the relationship because the one I had, it was childish mm -hmm. school stuff, you know, um, and then meeting him where I have to teach him everything mm -hmm. that I don't know. Yep. It was very hard. Mm -hmm. We were both young. We have the same birthday. We were born in the same day. Yep. My ex dad. Oh, wow. Yeah. The same day, month, year, everything. That was your twin. That was my twin. <laughs> but. He was very young. Women mature more than fast. Absolutely. And if somebody that a 20 year old Absolutely. doesn't understand life, marriage, relationship, none of that. And when I told my mom about him, you know how people, oh, you have to get married. You know, we don't do boyfriend, girlfriend, all of this stuff. So we, we got married, married. Um, and then I, I fell pregnant, um, not with Maya. I had uh, my son at when I was four months pregnant, that's when I went into labor. Oh wow, I'm sorry about that. Yeah. I mean, I knew, but yeah, obviously. Yeah, and at this, at this time, I, my marriage was very difficult. Mm. It was very hard. It was two people from two different cultures Absolutely. trying to understand. There was a culture. Clash. Oh my God. A lot of clashes. Yeah, 
So, and if I tell you that when I woke up, my stomach was hurting at, at four months pregnant and I drove myself to the hospital at 4 a.m. And, and imagine like your mom is not there, your dad, nobody's there. Our marriage was rough, so he wasn't there. Mm. I, I went to the hospital myself and they told me that, oh, you're giving birth. And I was like, no, I'm four months. They said the baby is nine centimeters. You know, nine centimeter is when you're ready to push it out. And when I, when, when, when I, I couldn't push him out because he was, you know, I'm on torn follow because it's, 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 it's four, four months. months. So you, I had a C-section with him and they gave me this baby, like smaller than my hands. And I have to look at my son. That's crazy. Yeah. Um, so when that whole trauma happened to me, I said, I want to have another kid because I will never get over this. Mm. And it has to be with the same person. Mm. So I feel like I have connection to my son. Mm. His name is, was, was CJ. Um, Maya came. Maya was born the following year on CJ's birthday. Really? Yeah, January, um, July 11. Yeah, the day that I gave birth to CJ, the following year I gave birth to Maya. Maya. So that, that's why Maya means the world to me. Because she came with a message. Mm. What was that message? I got you. Mm. Maya is just, I got you type of energy she has. That girl loves me no matter what I do. Mm. You know, Maya, I, I can tell I'm sad and she will go talk to that person. Like I can say, Fanta yeah. made me sad. Yeah, and she will go to Fanta, my mom mom's sad. sad. Yep. <laughs> you know? She's always been that way. Yes, yeah. you know, she's, she's a kid, but I feel like, She's like a guardian angel to me, so I don't lose my mind, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you so much. You're okay. Oh, I have two. Yes, you do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so Maya came into the picture, mm -hmm. loved the whole motherhood. I was obsessed with it, had a YouTube video, YouTube channel for her and everything. Mm -hmm. um, but then I, the marriage wasn't going just because I have that and I'm there to whatever. The marriage wasn't going, you know. Chris had a lot of learning to do. He has a lot of empathy. That's my that's that's my as that, yeah, Christopher. Um, he has a lot of things to learn mm. on his own without me mm. or anybody. You understand? Mm. Um, knowing is good. Mm -hmm. You understand? We talked. Yeah. Me and Chris sat like this, it's not, and we said, I told him, it's not going to work. And I don't want to hate you. I want you and Maya to be good. But also, I don't want to keep myself here. Unhappy. Unhappy. Crying and, and you know. Going through it. Yeah, and, I, and when I was married, I was married, married. I wasn't talking to people. I was very in my little bubble with my little family. Mm -hmm. But I made a decision, pack every little thing I have and what I couldn't, I just, it was a loss. Got in a car with my two year old and we drove for five days alone from Michigan to Seattle. What? Yeah. Five days? Five days. We'll, we'll wake up, we'll dri start driving at 6 a.m. till 6 p.m. and I'll get a hotel. We'll stay in stay there. Stay in there for the night yeah. and then morning you're up. Yeah. Again. Yeah. She, 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 Maya has been there for a lot of things and, and she holds up so well coming ibuka jato but we didn't know about that mbulle fa when i go to work and, and i don't have a babysitter i bring her to work I with me mm -hmm. i used to work for the united states postal office mm -hmm. my daycare closes at 5 and and I, and my work is done at 6:30 so i i go to her daycare pick her up and put her in the postal car as a fucking child i'm sorry <laughs> <laughs> you know but she, she, she's okay. Mm -hmm. Don't so, get emotional. Yeah. Don't get emotional Don't. on me. <laughs> no, I just remember. It's a lot. I forgot a lot of yeah, things. Yeah, just talking about it is bringing it all back. Yeah, I but I, she, like, I owe everything to her. When I buy a land here, it's in her name. Because mm -hmm. I know I'm stupid. I could be in love with somebody. <laughs> and then and they mess me up. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Everything mm -hmm. that I do, every waking hours, every content I created mm -hmm. is for Maya to call me tomorrow and say, can, can, I, have, can I have two million? I, I want to take my friend here. Yeah. And I don't care. Yeah, because you work. Because I, I want her to, she deserved that. Mm. You know, um, her relationship with her dad, her dad lives in Michigan, there's six, six hours flight. 
or five days drive, yeah. you know? Yeah. Um, and him being who he is, he's not very involved. In her life. Right? Mm. But we don't talk about Maya's dad to Maya. We don't, we don't say anything, I don't say anything mean. Maya doesn't, Maya, all she knows is he's diamond, glory, amazing yeah, human being. Yeah, all the being. great things about the, him. Yeah, I because protect. that's what you Yes. And even later on, even if she doesn't see what happened, I'm okay with that as long as she's happy. happy. So we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't go that far. But if she wants to talk to her dad, he pays child support, with, which helps me with, you know, Maya does a lot of things I, you know, yeah. a lot of, that goes to that, yeah. you know. Um, he's doing his best. They don't see each other as much. And even if they do, I'm not going to post that. That's not, that's, that's not, private. Yeah. But what pe people, they don't see stuff, then it's among sort of. Among sort of, yeah. If it's not on social media, then the it never happens. Right. Especially if you're someone that's on social media yeah. a lot, uh, they look at it as, oh, she didn't post this. Then, then it's then not, right. It's not happening. Mm -hmm. But yeah. that's my personal life with her mm -hmm. father, and I'm not going to cross that mm -hmm. line. You know, um, I know that sometimes when you speak about your parents, there's a little bit of a gap mm -hmm. <laughs> in maybe the way you were raised mm -hmm. and some of the things you felt you lacked. Mm -hmm. What was, what's your relationship like with your mom and dad? Uh, I'll start with my dad. <laughs> my dad is like, my dad is my favorite. Like, the, he means the world to me. Mm -hmm. um, like, I will, mm -hmm. I will take my dad's place in any horrible situation. Mm -hmm. I obviously he wouldn't allow that. Yeah. Right. But in bed. I'll give my dad my heart mm. if he's if in he surgery, if he it. needed, yeah. it, and I'm okay with dying. And because um, my dad is very, he's an amazing father. Mm. It's whatever his kids want. What? He wouldn't agree with everything. He will, he will tell me stuff like, yeah, uh uh. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, know? Yeah. Which is fine. But. He's been there. He's he's always there. Mm. Like Fanta, I don't have to work. You see me go open Ria B, do this. I don't have to. I know. I know. But my dad worked for his stuff. Yeah. That is not my stuff, mm. right? But almost if I'm not seeing there's nothing he fine. wouldn't do. I will yeah. be. I'll be great. I'll yeah. be traveling. I'll live a better life than I am now. Mm. But woman can still it. The answer. So that's the kind of father he is. He's there. I can call him now and say, Oh, my friend needs a ride here. He was just puff and puff, but I decided, like, oh, Marisica, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. he will go to the airport with me to get yeah, somebody because yeah. they're having trouble. Yeah. That's that's who he is. Mm -hmm. um, my mom, I am my mom. Yeah. Okay. Everything I learn, everything I know how to do, my my work ethic, my my creativity, is all from my mom. Mm. Like not Taria, and in go Bandia, my dad. <laughs> <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? But yeah. my mom, um, everything I got is from my mom. But this is my relationship with my mom that people don't understand. My mom has been sick. Mm -hmm. So my mom was never coming present, As coming barman. Yeah. So we don't have, have that. that. That is not my fault. That at, is not her all. fault. At all. She was sick. So what all we had was my dad that was like, my mom was always sick. You understand? So my relationship with her is a little different. It's more... Barman in Dingo, but like very limited. Limited. coming for Ntinanga Kumodol Fai. Me, my dad, I can tell him, oh, shut up. Oh, you're yeah, lying. Yeah, yeah. You know, he doesn't care. Yeah. But no, my mom will be like, <laughs> very typical, right? Very typical. So my dad is like a friend. Yeah. My mom is like, when, when I'm really going through it or, or need some solid, that's my that's mom. mom. Okay. That's who I go to. So it's kind of like, in a way, good cop, bad cop. Very. Yeah. There, there, there's, a, there's, there's a balance yeah. between all of them. My mom keep gave me, like, I tell you, I'm not going to be a I tell you, I'm not And my dad is why I'm also where I am. Malam for your understanding, right? I know what you mean. Yeah, so <laughs> it's, it's different. It's it different, is. but in a good way. I don't post about her. People don't know this, but my mom was a teacher. Mm -hmm. She was a, 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 a vice principal, and she was a principal. Nice. Right. So the reason I don't put her out on social media, I could post her. She comes to see me in Seattle, I don't post her. Because she, she had a lot of impact in a lot of kids' life. Mm. And, and the way she runs her life, and how a girl kulu, Malafi wadini wali yenteje, ya foko, oh Obama, aha, Obama strip. So I'm protecting those kids, and I'm protecting my mom's identity. Okay. Because my mom is very strict. Yeah. Like, he, she probably say, I shouldn't wear this to the show. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Um, but I protect her identity. Because yeah. 
she was Zambia. one of the best home economics teachers nice. in the Gambia. Nice. Yeah, I I don't want to say it. Okay. <laughs> got it. Got it. You know what I mean? Still protected. Yeah. Now. Okay. If I put her there, people will be like, people "That's will your like, mom." Oh, that's your mom. That's it crazy. Okay. So that's why I protect my mom. I don't talk about my mom. I don't post my mom. What are you But I love that woman. Um, every time I see your audio, I've been yelling at her. We could only, you know, I take care of her. I love her, but I don't put her out there. Okay. She's okay. off limits. Okay. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. That makes I need sense. to have some privacy. And I respect in that, part. that. And as you should, I absolutely respect that. Yeah. We'll come back to that when we get to the segment of mental health. Uh, there's a lot I want to ask regarding that. Now, however, you've had relationships, like you said, that have been quite public. Mm -hmm. And I want to talk about three very important relationships. But first, I want to talk about your relationship with someone that is close to me, that you know. Yeah. <laughs> and I want to talk about what that relationship was like. What that was like? Oh, Sable. Momo or Saturde? Sable. Sable. We sir. Um... Saibo's relationship. When I met Saibo, I just started coming to Gambia. Because I was gone for quite a long time. You were. Right? Um, and then um, uh, your sister, Mama, mm. knows Saibo, that's Saibo's friend, right? Yeah. And well, Khadija and everybody. Well, yeah, family. your family, yeah. you know? Um, it was different because I just came from a marriage. Not, you know? So when I met him, it was nice at first, but also I was very naive. I didn't know Gambia like that. Or I was Gambians. raised here, but in Tadanyami, there's a lot of people that grew here and, and they have their own. You're very much in that world. I am. Yeah. You, you know, I just associated yeah, at some point. So when I came and I met him, there was a lot of things that I did wrong that I probably wouldn't have made that mistake had now. I been in Gambia for a really long time. Saibo was my most painful relationship. Saibo was was very painful. How so? I didn't get it. Mm. What didn't you get? It's like you're in a relationship. So it's like you're walking on water. You're, it must sink, but you're not going anywhere. Malam for your understanding. Mm -hmm. So I'm just floating, mm. but it must load a lot long. Like, I don't know where I stand. Mm. And as much as like, I'm posting things like this and that and, and that. And you were doing yeah, a lot. A lot, right? Uh, uh, you know, you know, <laughs> things that I can't. You know, yeah. say, right? But um Malodu La Londo, I don't know where I stand. Mm. I don't know what is in his mind. Mm. Being in a relationship with Gambians, they don't express themselves. Oh, they, child. Don't, they don't talk about their feelings. They don't tell you how they feel. They just do the little So so Sabo's relationship with me was very childish after after the after whole pain, it, yeah. after the whole betrayal, whatever, whatever. I came to I laugh sometimes. Did you feel betrayed? By him? Mm. Yeah. How so? <laughs> um, he wasn't genuine mm. in the relationship. How so? He was with. I, I, I found out later that he had other, another relationship wow. while with me. With you. Right? As and public as your relationship no, was. No. As oh, as say, public, as yeah. As right. But that person was, was not very, was not pub public. This person is, is not even around here. She, she would never find out. So it was a perfect situation. It was at that time for him, at least. Wow. Um, so yeah, I, I did, f I, I felt very betrayed. Mm. By him. By him. Yeah, I feel were very... You, would you say that you were in love with, with him? I, no, I think I was in love with the idea mm. of being with him. And you know, like when people don't give you all, you, 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 want, more. you want more. Yeah. It's like that chase, that... That rat Run, yep. Yeah, right? It, you only follow things that are running away from you. So it was that. Because it was me. I couldn't understand why I couldn't get him how I want to get him. Mm. Or, or how I want, you know, that... That relationship to be like. Thank you. How you had imagined it in your head. Yeah. I, and, and I were two different people. Now that, that guy is my best friend. Mm. We, we talk about everything. You will see us out in the club, out wherever. He's just here. But there's nothing going on. I, I forgave him. We talked about all of that. So now I just look at him as, um, I think like I can do that now because I realized that I wasn't in love with him. Okay. I was just in love with the struggle. <laughs> We're in love with the struggle. It was a struggle. You understand, right? But that guy, I wish him all the best. Like he knows it. Um, I tell him all the time, you're amazing, Sebo. Um, he is. Yeah, absolutely That's is. my guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, and I, I, and I want the best for him. I want him to find, 
He's, he needs somebody that he's compatible with. He needs that understanding. I didn't understand him. He didn't understand me. But he could have made a lot of money. He could have made a lot of money. You understand? Like what? Nothing. You can't say stuff like that and not. Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> no, that's... When you invite him over, I, uh, he would tell you that, I guess. Like what? That's none of my business. <laughs> it's not your business, but it's my fault, I know. <laughs> anyway, I want to move on to a relationship that has got tongues wagging from the moment you put it out there. Your relationship with Mariah, your co-founder of Ria B. This is a relationship that has gotten people floored from the moment you came out with, like, this is who I love or this is the person that makes me happy. In whatever form, way, fashion that is, I would like for you to elaborate on that. Um, I know a lot of people are waiting. They're like, tell us, <laughs> tell us, yeah. Um, you know, Fanta, it's funny because if you, if you follow my Snapchat up until now, I have never came out on social media and say that this is what I'm, uh, I am, or this and this. And. I post what I post. The, everything that's going around is assumption. I haven't confirmed anything. Yes, you haven't. You know what I mean? You've never seen me wrote on social media and say, I am a lesbian now. Mm. I'm, I'm in a relationship with a woman. You've never seen that. But you, but you may not have verbally said that, mm -hmm. but you've posted it. And your posts have insinuated it. And a lot of your posts have come with the LGBTQ flag, I and you know plus sorry plus yes q plus yes. a lot of it mm -hmm. and obviously in this day and age where when you see that flag the rainbow flag automatically you don't need someone to verbally confirm anything to you that's it okay i think that's where you guys get it wrong oh please ed educate yeah us. i would love to do that <laughs> um i can be an ally there's a lot of people that are lgbtq plus ally i'm not saying that i am either an ally or I, I, I relate to one of the colors in the flag. I'm not saying that. I can post that. Mm -hmm. See, this is social media. I put things out. It's up to you so how you, you want to consume, consume it. it. Do you understand? I feel like I call that bullshit though. No, hold on. I do. Hold on. Okay, go on. Because I can me I can be full of shit. Sometimes I can be in my bed <laughs> and I can be like, let me rob, rob, you rob do, people. No, I, but I you know, know that. that. I tell you, I'm like, you know, I'm thinking it. And I then I message it. you like, when are you tell us? Yeah, I'm going to tell you. But the, this is the problem. More than that, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you. Okay. Now, let's get to Mariah. Yes, please. Because you, you can say that all you want. And that is a fact. I haven't confirmed or denied anything. So you can't really use anything to me. With me, against me rather but if I say oh my god this person makes me the happiest this person does the cutest things for me oh this person picked me up or we went on date night I'm sorry these are you all go out with, with llama and and uh, all these other people on a day okay I'm, I, not, I'm not even trying to I'm so sorry uh, um, to cut no, you no, I, I am not trying to um, say that me and uh, Mariah is like me and llama llama or Absolutely whoever not. that's not what I'm saying yeah. I'll get to I'll okay. get to that Right? Okay. Um, I'm single. I'm not in a relationship with anybody. Let's let's get that very clear. Oh, you're not in a relationship? No, I'm not in a okay. relationship with anybody. Okay, so I'm, I'm very single. So what's your relationship like with Mariah? Now, right now, um, so Mariah is, I think like the happiest I've been is the, when I met her. Okay. When I met her, right? Um, I had a great... I know, my eyes are very piercing. Yeah. I know. But I, 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 I just and want you're to very beautiful. Thank you. I just so, want to um, my relationship with Mariah, okay. I don't, I'm not going to trade that for anything in the world. Okay. What's that relationship? What is it? And that's, that, it's complicated. Uncomplicated for me. I, I don't think. This is supposed to be a tell all. This is supposed to be where you tell people. Clear things up, explain to people, as much as it is about Ria B, which is a fantastic business idea, and I know you have so many other business ideas that I cannot wait to see, but it also on the flip side of this interview, it is for you to tell your side. For a lot of the misconceptions, for a lot of the assumptions, this is where you clear that up. A lot of the people that have come on the show that have had some sort of drama or 
they've cleared it up <laughs> and they've left. And you've seen that. Yeah. And we talked about this. Yeah. So for me, this is one of the biggest bone of contentions for you. Okay. Presently. Um, it is in this day and age, you have come out, you've not, maybe you've not verbally said it, but you've come out with a girlfriend. When I say a girl, I don't even mean it as in that, but a girlfriend to say, I will not trade this person for anything because of how they make me feel. I've traveled to Canada to see them. And mind you, the reason why this has become such a big thing is because this person identifies as a lesbian. They, and yeah. And they do. They do. And this is someone I've known since we were kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do you understand what yeah. I mean? And they've always been a tomboy. Yeah. So when I saw that, and that's what they became, I wasn't shocked. I wasn't shocked at all because I was like, oh, it's cool, it's Mariah. Mm -hmm. no, no shock there. Mm -hmm. But when you became associated with her, that was a shock. So having people wondering or saying, oh, you are a lesbian or you're associated with a this or whatever you, you bisexual, whatever you, you, you want to call it, people have tagged that on you. You've been tagged. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. This is your moment to say, yes, I am. No, I'm not. Yes, I have a relationship with her. Yes, I had a relationship with her. No, I don't have a relationship with her presently. Whatever it is, that is your truth. This is, I feel like this is that moment. Because that's why we're here. Um, I just, I, I, I think that people are very unfair to people from the LGBTQI mm. class. Um, because I don't think a straight person comes out. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, so I don't expect Someone somebody to come out. To come out. I, I feel like you don't need to. You may not need to, but because it's not the norm in in life generally, that's why there's there's a term come out. I don't. I don't. I didn't come out. Mm -hmm. um, I'm not gonna come out if I have to, mm -hmm. or if you know, I'm not. Do you um, still like men? Oh yeah, I, I have a child. I, I will. I will be with anybody. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. Of course. Uh, I, ha I have a child. I was married, and I've dated men my whole life. Yeah, but some people find out later in life. And then they don't want to get back. And there's more just like, oh, this is just what I want. I don't want this anymore. And some people swing both ways. I think that like you're imposing the question in, a, in such a way that I've given you a confirmation that. No, I'm asking a question based on the explanations yeah. you're giving I am, me. It's just, you just said it's just, people don't come out. So I'm asking based off that. Um, I'm very careful. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I, don't, I don't think I have anything to come out. OK. Um, it's just for two. Like I said, I'm very single. Um, okay, then single lady. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I think th this is like my most amazing year. Okay. We'll get to last year. Okay. And I think you'll be very interested to know what happened. Okay. Last year. Okay. Um, but this is the happiest I've been. In as much as I've been happy and all this other stuff, I feel great. Okay. Um, and I want to keep it that way. Mm. It, uh, as far as being lesbian or bisexual, I'm, I'm none of that. I'm just fat to be. I'm not lesbian, I'm not straight. I just, I just love life. And if you happen to make me happy, you make me happy. Right now, uh -huh. you're saying you're single. <laughs> Does that mean that whatever relationship you shared with Mara isn't there anymore, but you're still friends? We've always, we, we will always be friends. We will That's forever. Why I said you're still friends. We are. I'm asking. <laughs> it's either a yes or no, Fatu. <laughs> oh, oh, come on. That's my friend. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, we, we, we have different opinions. Uh, and Mar if you see Mariah, you see me. We, we came from different backgrounds. Absolutely. But we have the same trauma okay. in life. It could be in different forms. But if you sit and listen to her story and you listen to my story, it's like you took a person you split. I tell a side, not another side. Relationship, me and her, will never work because we're the same people. You have the same trauma. The same trauma, the same thinking. Maybe hers is a little more, more than me or more intense. But two people like that cannot be in a relationship. But so that's my best friend. Okay. So you understand? It, it isn't there, but you're still friends. We are. That okay. is my. That is. That is. I think like, that is the love of like. That is my best friend. Okay. Do you get what I I'm think saying? I kind of. Okay. Figures that out. Yeah, but she, okay. she, you know, she gets it. Okay. Um, and I'm, I, and I'm hundred percent myself with her. With her. That's my person, and and 
and I only felt right, I could just call Ria, uh, Ria B. Fatabi Laundry. Yeah. But I, I want that attachment there. I want her name there. She's, she's part of it. That's her brand. But obviously, certain things happen where I'll just like to just be the one, I'll just focus on it and just not worry about other personal things going on. So, um, yeah, that, that's my person. Whether it's 10 years, five years from now, she will always be, be my person. It doesn't matter, <laughs> whatever is happening right. between us. And I love you, and I hope that you watch this show and know that I really love you. So, yeah. So there's no bad blood? Absolutely not. It's just, would you say it's, you, you grew apart in that sense? But I, the friendship is still solid. Would you say that? Or would you say maybe now the friendship isn't as close, but that's understandable because of... I'm busy. I'm in Gambia. Okay, girl. I'm busy. I, I, I like how you just phrased that. Yeah, I'm busy. I, I'm busy. Okay. Yeah. I'm very busy. So all the other things right now, I'm not thinking about myself. I'm not thinking about relationships. I'm, I feel like I invest so much into people. You do. You know that. I can meet a straw and I'll fucking turn this into a flower. I just Excuse cut it. Her friend. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, you know, but um, I will turn this into something. Like I'm that type of person. Yeah. So if I can do that you for other people, people, I pour in. You, you've been there. You, you, you've been through my emotion, my mental, yeah. you know. Yeah. So if I, if I, if I, if I can do that for people, pour into an external person. Imagine How the much? damage I'll cause if I just not even a damage in a good way that I'll cause if I just focus, focus on, on me yourself. for a year. So I want to give this 2023. I want to transform yourself. it. January 1st, I'll post my, I'll post a relationship, maybe. So you are in a relationship? I am very single. We're in 2023, it's January. 2024, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, I'm that's, that's, that's well. even maybe, but for now, I just want to, I just want to work. Ria B is making me so happy. Okay. It, it got to a place that I wasn't even thinking. Thinking that it could like, be Like, so being so. in America and then saying, okay, this is what I expect my income to be every day. And then I look at numbers and I'm scared. Mm. I'm like... I, I thought people will not come mm. b based on all these controversies and how they view me or yeah. who they think I am. But they didn't care about that. The, and, then, and then I get to understand that people don't care who you are. As long as say, you have something that they want and they they'll need, come. they will. And then they'll always scrutinize it, by the way. I'm just going to go. If it's not good, then I can talk trash. But they will come. So far. And if it's fantastic, they'll keep coming. They are. Okay. And, and, and I, like and I, I, I just love the turnout. I like so that. thank you, Gabby. I like that. I like thank that. Thank you so much. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Um, we're going to go with our last break. One more back. More with Fatu B. spending time online with your friends on social media? If so, then Africell has the best offer for you. Activate the social media bundle for $10 is only and enjoy 40 megabytes valid for 24 hours. WhatsApp, Instagram, Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Viber all for $10 is only. Dial 120 hash and press 3 to activate the social media bundle. No need to subscribe every day. 
it will automatically roll over for your enjoyment. Afrisol Social Media Bundle. Let us socialize. We'll get to one of my favorite segments, which is the mental health segment. You've talked about a lot, mm -hmm. and I can only imagine what that impact, what that has impacted on your mental health. Mm -hmm. Just briefly walk me through that. What you're, how are you today? Today, this day, um, what th what's today's date? Actually? Today's the 24th, 25th, 25th. 25th. Oh, good, that's like your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah. yeah. a month ago was, mm -hmm. my, exactly yeah. today was my birthday, yeah. a month ago, Christmas yeah. day. Um, I, Fanta, I am at such a great place in my life. Um, I cannot tell you this last year. I cannot tell you this in November, November. Uh, I, I'm, 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 I'm so selfish and I realize that I love myself so mm. much that isn't that a beautiful realization? And, and, and being in relationship with people, I look at them as they're the one giving me happiness. But until, until I go to mm. like until, like, until so I bring you know my... the light is with it's you. It's me. Mm. So the moment that I stop my focus on people and just me, I love me and, and, and I, I, like, I enjoy me. <laughs> Do you know why I'm smiling? <laughs> because it's beautiful to see someone on their journey and discovering things about themselves yeah. as they go. Um, yeah, self-awareness I think is the number one, the first of anything. Mm -hmm. um, and I am extremely self-aware. That's fantastic. Um, I, I apologize all the time and I can catch myself being rude. Mm. I can see change I can see like my at my my words or my whatever is changing it's somebody's changing, mood. Yeah. And and then I, I, I try to flip it. Flip it, turn around and apologize and I, I I'm not beneath that. Speaking of mental health, I honestly I honestly don't know. I I, I wouldn't tell you that I envision today, this day to be where like I'm I am where I'm at mm -hmm. today, right? Mm -hmm. Because um, last year was the worst year of my life please elaborate other than 2014 when i lost my son mm. you know last year when the new year just rolled i was in canada at that time with my daughter for the for the holiday my before the day before i, I was on my way to the airport and i missed my flight mm -hmm. they told me that my brother passed away sorry about that you know? that's my mom's um tau yeah. you, you call it right first son first son first child, first child. yeah my brother passed away and then when I missed my flight, I didn't get a flight for the next two days. Like uh, the, the next available seat was in two, two days. days. Um, I got a call that my apartment flooded. Oh wow. And I wasn't there. Imagine my TV, my couch, everything. my shoes, my clothes, things, my laptop, work laptop under the bed. Imagine everything flood. Where near Singodundi, the water comes over on your ankle and you're in the, on another side of the world. Wow. You understand? Yeah. I had to come back, move apartment. I didn't post that. People, no. it's the same complex, but I'm in another apartment. Yeah. But they don't know that. They, yeah. don't, they don't need to know all of they that. Don't. You know what I mean? I just kept quiet. Mm -hmm. I kept going. Mm -hmm. and, and all you guys saw was happy, and I'm traveling, and this. Then, February, roll February, up. whatever you guys say, roll, roll, over, roll mm -hmm. up. My most amazing job that I held for a really long time, I lost it. Wow. You understand? Mm -hmm. The second, because I always have more than two jobs. Mm -hmm. The second one that was important to me because it was a state job, I lost that too. You lost two jobs in one month? I'm coming. It's a month, it's a month, it's a month. I am. Um, went on with my life got another job because i have the qualifications but still i was still trying to make somebody else happy i was seeing them every month yeah you would never tell when you see me that i was going through that mm. and then ria b was in the cooking yeah i got another job so that job i go during the weekend so i don't even see my daughter people are taking care of her during the weekend while i'm gone and then when I come back Monday, I'm rushing to go to my other job. You understand? Mm. Um, I got hurt. There, you mm. can see the, um, this right here? Yeah. It's very big. Yes. I got very hurt. So I couldn't work for two weeks. When I applied to get paid, it was denied. What? I wasn't paid. 
right? Sucked it up, keep going to my job, and then my Monday to Thursday job. I couldn't keep up because I have to go get my daughter. Then Lin Teng, a clash that I lost that too. I found another job. You, you, I'm telling you, I just put out what I want people to see. Absolutely. I found another job. I was doing great. I got attacked by a husky there. What? Yeah. Um, I can show the inner part, but this is from the husky. Yandy knows. Right? I applied for unemployment. Film me, Uncle. It takes one to two weeks. Four months, mukafe moi. But I was traveling. I was making, you know, I had a partner. I was making them happy. I was seeing them, all that stuff. Maya was doing great. I'll sign her up, even if I don't eat. Mm -hmm. And Ria B was still in the cook. Every little, every little thing that I have, I push it. Go, put it there. You know, Gambia, the expenses. You understand? I didn't get my unemployment. For four months, one day I just called, what was the hold up? And then, but for some reason I had faith. I'm just like, this is the most intense test of my life and I'm not gonna break. Mm. And, and the relationship I had last year was very hard too because there was a lot of, it was, I was happy, but there was a lot of trauma that was so facing. There was a lot of, I don't wanna get into that. But that, my mental health was, psh, on the ground. In that relationship, as much as you showed the... Yeah, because that's what I want to show. But when two people are together... And there are no phones, there are no flashlights. They, oh my goodness. That's where the real relationship is. Yeah. But overall, it was good. It was. It was just that it reminds me so much of my trauma. Okay. Right? I, I, I don't know how I'm still here. After everything I went through, even with Cybo. And then I'm okay. And then today I'm okay. I don't understand. But last year, I just knew that there's something coming for me. Mm, so he want to see if I intense. deserve it. Yeah. And I stood, stood firm. I didn't lose hope. And, and right before the year was ending, my employ unemployment already owed me so much money because they found that I'm, I'm eligible for it. Yeah. So saying, I could do an account. I think it was like $15,000. And I was like, ha! This okay. <laughs> okay, makes sense. I've been testing the number. Okay, I'm going to have a because the money is there. You know, I kept working. I kept working. Still dealing with my personal life. Um, being a single mom. Woman easy. And I make it look beautiful. You do. You know, the crochet started around the end too. People were like coming. And I was just like, but I kept telling people, 2023 is, for some reason, because I mm -hmm. struggle with my mom. I, 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 before I came, I had my uh, a manager job uh, offer and I worked there for maybe a week. And I was like, you know what? I'm not going to work for anybody. Let me just come. Let me just prepare for my trip to Gambia. Nganana. You understand? I let go of that job, right? And I started a crochet and then going to little, my small job until I could come here. And the, the, uh, the people, the way they took that crochet and the, the, the support, the, response, the response. And when I got to Gambia, the response, the this, I'm just like, ah. I'm so glad that this. I didn't let this break me. Yeah. I can only say the shallow part and not go deeper of what really happened. And when I keep quiet, because there's a lot of things that are not being said, even a lot of my, some of my exes that all stuff, that all me. Oh my God. And I wouldn't even say most, just a person. But if you see that person, it's just like, and then when I talk, it's like, oh, I'll think. You know, when I take a day, that's why I'm not worried about what people are doing because I know, man, I'm not your hamga. Man, Jarul, man, mawa. And and people have this thing with me where, oh, you're always doing for men, for men. I'm so sorry that I date people that are not at my financial level. level. And most of the time, my relationship is from Gambia. I live in America. I get paid per hour. You think somebody that is in the Gambia, working barely hundred dollar a month will be able to give me the life that I want. Mm -hmm. So if I want to travel, if I want to go to Dubai, for instance, I went to Dubai with Saibo. Do you want to say that I should wait until Saibo is financially stable? But I need to fly Dubai. And so I cannot enjoy my life. And I cannot enjoy my life because this man doesn't have it. And I do it, but it's not like I'm out here make, giving people this fortune. We just enjoy what, what I have 
but you don't take in anything from me. Me alone ko it's not replaceable or it's gonna you be hotel all alone la la or you be cordale sana. Me alone for you understand. You enjoy me with me. I'll give you everything and I'm and I'm done. You enjoy, but I'm not doing anything extraordinary or mom the day deaf gorni. I'm go guys think I'm taking money now. That's been the narrative. I do for women. I just I don't need to. Uh, they don't. We don't. We're not dating. We're not going out for people to see that. But the men, obviously, if you see him next to me, you're like, oh, man, call the father. Man, did not call the father. You could get it. You know, man, to my to them. If I want to travel, Fanta, I will travel. Absolutely. If I if I want somebody to have an iPhone 14, I'm not gonna date somebody with an iPhone 7. That's fat to be fat, amla. The not like general 14. Okay. Now come on. Like, 14, oh, you know what I mean? You have, I, and I expect my partner to do the same. If I was down. You better take don't don't kana jutu na. You can finish this work on. Very good. Bulma tuti. Hep. Bulma hep. Hep. You buma dugal ma finger dem. You must conference. Tell some alone. Man no lie there definitely. The malati man one le man malo nop. They law amut it don't don't matter. Why ta hone man mane ka dijena sanop because my I don't. That has been an idea. That is the narrative. That you buy love. That you buy people with what you have. If I did, they will stay. Because you malo be na kula bulu. If I did, they will stay. I'm an American citizen. Do you know how many people are hustling me right now? So if you get to get to have me, why would you be stupid to let go? Mm. It's because I, I decided that I don't want it. Yeah. Saibo, I decided I don't want it. That other person, I decided I don't want it. Why are you it. screaming Saibo, Saibo? You're not telling us the other person. Because Saibo is my best friend. Because if I Saibo too, we can back it. But even you do, I don't tell you what told one. I'm so glad you yeah. came on the show. I'm so glad we had this conversation. Thank you. Uh, and I'm glad that your mental health is better today. Oh, Alhamdulillah. And I hope you continue to do the things that elevate that. And I hope and pray because I know you will have access to it to find a good therapist that you will talk to. Oh yeah, because it's very important. Oh yeah, you know, oh, yeah. and I hope that people are able to see you and use you as motivation. Oh yeah, definitely. And understand that bombardicating, oh. like everything in life has a finishing. Yeah. As long as it has a beginning, it has an ending. Hundred percent. You know. Yes. And I'm glad you came. Yeah. And me too. I'm glad I. Now we're gonna get to the fun part. <laughs> okay. So we're gonna get to the never have I ever segment. Are you ready? Yeah. You already know that this is the part that I no enjoy, joke, no play. I actually enjoy. Okay. This part. <laughs> are you ready? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Pamatar Wax Media, are we ready? Okay. First, never have I ever questioned. Okay. Never have I ever been in a threesome, foursome, OG. Oh, I've never. Tonya for the mother of Hey! I thought you were a ninja. Why didn't you have a ninja? Why didn't you have a ninja? I know how long. What can I be doing? I'm going to call you a bank. No, I'm going to call you Oh my god, I'm sorry. I forgot. <laughs> when did that happen? Really? <laughs> <laughs> did you have fun? Uh, Would you do it again? So I will never bring anybody in my relationship. I'll go and scatter yours. Because you feel like that actually. Oh yeah. It, after, I've always felt like that though. I don't understand don't how do people that. Bring. No, you can't do it. No, you got it. I'm no. too possessive for that. No. Go and scatter and then yours is off limit. Unless so you don't you feel care. like when you invite people in your relationship, it's yeah. I I, I feel like it. people don't understand humans. Like we have, if you meet somebody today, you have sex with them, or you in a relationship, whatever. They akatui mm. lela. Whatever trauma they have, like fin fin. Of course. So if you I invite another, that. if you invite another soul, they're sucking something. No, kana care. Yeah. Yeah. Did it ruin your relationship? Man, never brought anything in my relationship. So I'm that. that oh yeah, come on. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Yeah, I don't. Never have I ever <laughs> slept with two people in one in twenty four hours. Oh, never. Oh, um, yeah. I have never. I have never. <laughs> yeah, never. Okay. I think that's that's very wild. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. but you don't think four some is wild, three some is wild. But you think sleeping with two more than one person, <laughs> Un <laughs> unknowingly, like them not knowing. Yeah, that's wild to me. Okay. I, I just think yeah, that's crossing lines for me. <laughs> never have I ever been with a girl. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. How was that? Not even like let's not even talk about the sexual part. It's yeah, just it's like, like women are so if you are with a woman or a relationship with a woman, it's so much 
man ba explain na me coming honey most friend floor they open up they yeah, open up mentally w- because women know how to be more open i'm telling you and than men. yeah i'm and not saying now a lot of men suck at that mm. they're very close especially yeah. gambia they yeah, don't open absolutely. up absolutely so absolutely um yeah as my friends yeah, yeah i have you, you come to ask my friends <laughs> <laughs> <Four> question <laughs> never have i ever never have i ever lie to my partner about a fake pregnancy about being pregnant um uh, i have never i've never that's very sensitive ah, that's very disgusting because you know yeah. you know the girl yeah i think that's push that's taking it too far you but you yeah. know the girls yeah. we know <laughs> no i i love being a mom and i'm never you if never i'm pregnant that. oh that's crazy I know, yeah that's crazy i don't yeah. you know it's so crazy that women actually use that to kind of trap men yeah. or, that will never trap anybody. We've seen that. Last but we've seen that. We've seen that. We've seen that. Them for <laughs> Last but not least, never have I ever. Are you ready? Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. <laughs> never have I ever mm-hmm. lied about my sexual pre- preference. I have never lied about that. Have you ever? Yeah. <laughs> but thank you. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're running out of time. We actually have run out of time. Yeah, I think. But this was such a needed conversation. And look at Pamatar, my, my director and producer, is literally giving me the looks. But thank you so much yeah, for coming on Sip and Chat. I hope you had a great time. I did. I this did. Was amazing. And, you know, as usual, leave your comment, subscribe. I hope. This is not just a conversation that you absorb, but also digest and learn a thing or two from. Thank you so very much. I cannot wait to see where Rhea B goes and what other amazing projects you- I'm working on. You, you're working yeah. on because you are very entrepreneurial yeah. and I love that about you. Yeah. This, Thank you for trusting me. Of course, Fanta, you and, know. Oh, you know what's so crazy? The Never Have I Ever was so intense. You never took a sip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cheers to that. Cheers, you never even took a sip. That's no, I didn't. Crazy. <laughs> Now we've taken a sip. It's been a pleasure being on Sip and Chat again. Thank you so very much for being on Sip and Chat. Thank you very much for being a part of Sip and Chat. And you know, it's me, your girl. I will always be here. I will always speak my truth and I will always get my guests yeah. to share their journeys with us. So thank you very much. Peace, love, and chiching chiching. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.